I'm one of your hosts, L. Samus, and uh, we're joined today by a, the, a pretty full cast of crew of people here. Of course, we're joined by the Top Hat Talab, which is the DM, as always. Hello. Good evening. My name is Talab. Glad to have everyone. You can check him out over on his Twitch stream from the DM point of view at uh, twitch.tv slash Top Hat Talab. Let's see, we also have Steiner Davian. Hello. Let's see, his stream is currently not running at the moment because of reasons that are vitally important to the national security of the small island nation of his underpants. Also known as, I'm just lazy. Uh, also, yes. Let's see, do we have Shu? Shu is over at uh, Technical 13 today. Technical underscore 13. I don't think he's necessarily uh, on voice right this second, but you can check him out and another player's point of view if you... Don't care for mine. And uh, let's see. You can follow all of us on a multi-twitch.tv slash or individual handles if you'd like to see everyone's point of view at one time. Uh, a lot of people kind of condense down into my chat. But, uh, you know, you're welcome to, to message people ind indirectly. Just keep in mind that um, the DMs and stuff like that are busy watching the game, so they may not respond to you directly right away. Or they may have to wait to type in chat. Uh, let's see. Mike is back. Mike, hello. How's it going? Excellent, excellent. And uh, all right, we picked up a newbie. And by newbie, I mean new to the stream, but not streaming in general. You might recognize him from Voodoo's channel and, of course, his own YouTube channel. Nim, hello. Mary Nimis. Hello. Are you wearing pants? All of them. Pants All my pants. Movies. Answer for losers. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. All Everyone right. hates me. So uh, we're playing 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons today, I believe. I mean, tonight we'll do a recap or ask someone to recap who was paying attention. But, uh, I don't know. If you're enjoying this series, please let us know. And uh, we're going to have a really good time tonight. I'm going to turn it over to, to Lab to kind of get things rolling. And I'm going to figure out how to get these magic or these cards off of our character. Lab? Right. So um, anyone that doesn't know, this is our fifth edition uh, game. We are currently running through uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen. It's a module. It was actually one of the first modules that uh, was released for fifth edition when it first came out. Um, so it's a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, so uh, I think what we should do is go ahead and start with uh, introducing Nimvind. Uh, so, uh, when you guys get back to the castle, we'll, we'll do a recap after this. So it'd be kind of like a jump forward, jump back kind of thing. But when you guys, guys get back to the castle, sitting at, uh, on a bench. Um, and when you stand up, uh, or when you guys in, enter the castle, he, he immediately sees you and stands up and starts walking towards you. Um, and when he gets to you, he says that, uh, that he was able to make it into the the castle um and the governor said that uh that you guys were helping the village and uh he would like to help because he has uh motivations to help you guys um so nimvin why don't you go ahead and explain you uh you know kind of give a brief uh, description of your character their personality and such well first of all you could tell by the way he does his walk he's a ladies man um, he has kind of like short, kind of wavy brown hair, blue eyes, you know, fucking cream, uh, sorry for the language, cream skin, a little ring off of one of his ears, a plaid hat, a leather jacket, a little scarf. He kind of looks, uh, he kind of looks like a, a shifty charlatan merchant, but he doesn't look like he has anything to sell. Besides the you know the mandolin hanging off his side. Okay, um, so you have the, have this very swagger guy come up to you. Uh, so this is uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and flash back and recap. So go ahead and Steiner, why don't you recap us? Okay, so um, last week we were we were tasked with trying to rescue some folks who were. Um, trapped inside the church and to see if we could capture uh, some of the leadership of the group of people who were attacking uh, this 
the city here of Greenest. And uh, we, we made our way over to the church and saw some kind of uh, lieutenant from the cult and uh, a swarm of kobolds trying to break into the church. So we snuck over there, uh, incapacitated the uh, lieutenant guy, and then tried to fight off the kobolds, uh, but they were able to get inside the church and pretty much murder everybody before we could do anything. Uh, but we did manage to scare them off a little bit and uh, bring the lieutenant back to the castle. Okay. So um, you did bring him back to the castle. Um, he is uh, bound. Um, the governor uh, thanks you, and he says, um, uh, we, uh, we will question him uh, very shortly. Uh, would you guys uh, like to just have a, a short rest, and uh, uh, we'll, uh, I'll call you in when we're ready to question him. Yeah, a short rest would be great. Okay. So um, you guys sit down and, and relax. Uh, the uh, new person, uh, he sits with you guys. Would you uh, like me to play a little tune on my mandolin? Sure. Sure. Okay, so uh, go ahead and roll a, a performance, uh, Nimvind. I rolled it twice by accident. Sorry. It's, the first it's okay. One. So, uh, yeah, the first, uh, you, you do a, a pretty good job. Um, he, he sounds, you know, he, he's definitely not the best that you guys have heard, but he's, he's, he's decent, uh, given the circumstances. Um, so, uh, a few minutes go by roughly like 30 minutes and, uh, the governor comes out with a scowl on his face and he says, uh, uh, we're ready for you to, to come in and question the, uh, the person. Okay. Were we able to spend any hit dice while we were listening to his mandolin? Uh, yes. You have a short rest, so yes, you you can. I'm gonna see if any of the clerics are, are hanging out and uh, are interested. In are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh, see what now, Sam? See if any of the clerics wanted to give me any lovin's tonight. Um, roll a percentile. No, oh, that's not right. Uh, this one. Uh, 71. Um, yeah, you'll have uh, one of the clerics come over and they'll do a cure light on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I could use one or two as well, depending on how um they roll they will have uh two clerics that can do it they'll have two clerics that can do uh a cure light um so you guys have to decide amongst you who gets it all right i need to also rewind slightly in time did they just take my prisoner away to question him without me for a moment yes yeah i don't think that's gonna happen okay so what are you going to do when the governor comes go along with them Okay. All right. Then uh, there's two clerics that can heal uh, not Samus. Okay. <laughs> I'm down five. Uh, so they'll, they'll do a cure light on you. So go ahead and uh, somebody can do a cure light roll. And then there will be one more that can help as well. What is that? A D8 for cure light wounds? Yes. What's their wisdom? Um, it is a two. Plus two. Two. Yep. I mean, didn't you? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, aren't you down like Sweet. five? Yeah. You should. You should hit that. Yep, I'm good. Those I don't know hit points here. All right. Sweet. Okay, so uh, Sam, you he comes in and and throws your guy down into the the chair, and uh, he said uh, he looks back at you, kind of uh, the the governor looks back at you, kind of angrily. And uh, he says, uh, uh, I, I told you I'd come get you when uh, we were going, ready to question him, but you can sit here with him. Uh, uh, there's a guard here, though, so don't try anything funny. Don't try. Boy, 
I'm just going to look at it and be like, hey, man, I brought him here. I'm making sure that he stays safe until we get what we need out of him. Because I voluntarily ran into this flaming shithole of a burning town to save your bitch asses, remember? He so, will um, He will kind of get taken aback, and then he will say, uh, uh, you're, you're right, uh, my apologies. Uh, the stress of the situation, you must understand, uh, uh, I, I cut tensions you are slack. high. You need to cut, cut everybody else a little slack back, man. We're, we're all doing the best we can. Very, Everything's very well. on fire. Very, very well. I I understand. Uh, so he'll leave. Um, are you going to do anything in the meantime while he's gone? No, I'm just going to sit here, keep an eye on things. And uh, I just, nobody, nobody's going to take my prisoner unintended. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, man, um, right here on my damn the guy on my lawful good. The guy sits, is sitting in the chair and uh, he looks up at you and he says, um, uh, you there. If you help me, riches will await you. If you don't, only death will await you. I uh, I just kind of like look at him I'm like, yeah, rich is death. That sounds good. Sounds real good. Why don't I help you by we all sit here quietly and play the quiet game? Or I, I can play the mandolin. Uh, he smirks and says, uh, very well, have it your way. That sounds um, good, man. So again, a few minutes later, you'll have the, the governor will come in and, and grab the rest of you and uh, brings you all into the room and um, he starts to question him. Uh, who are you guys? What are you doing in my town? Why are you here? Does anybody want to chime in or anything like that? In the room with I, with me or with those with, guys? With the guard. With the, the guard. You, so everyone is in, in the interrogation room with the uh, prisoner. So they're asking us what we're doing here? No, no, they're asking the prisoner what oh, what they okay. are doing there. Uh, the prisoner seems pretty tight-lipped. Uh, I just, not... I just like okay. stand there, like putting like eldritch energy back and forth between my hands, okay. kind of menacingly. Yeah, I mean, just let them do their job as long as they until they need help, and then we'll step in and be brutal. I apologize. Apparently, I've had my starting soon screen up for the last few minutes instead Wait, of the app. So, are we all in this room to, with this uh, guy being questioned now? Yes. Um, yeah, everyone is in the room with this, this prisoner. He's being questioned. He's being very tight lipped, not answering questions. I'll raise my eyes. I'm like, I, I got a question for this mate. Okay. Uh, the governor uh, looks at you and says, uh, Well, you. You are the newcomer, but you're you're welcome to ask any questions that you wish. And he steps back and lets you kind of do your thing. Well, it's just a quick little um, inquisition, if you will. I uh, I would love to ask you: Do you know where a sweet little last name Talis? Uh, roll a persuasion. Frack. Um. He looks up at you and uh, smirks and says, uh, ah, the bitch is probably dead. Well, that would be quite misfortunate for you and every one of you, because uh, she's the only reason why I still breathe. And if she stops breathing, then everyone who helped that to be will stop breathing. Um, he doesn't say a uh, remark to that at all. I sit back down. Okay. Anybody else got anything? I mean, I'll step up there and, okay. uh, I'm gonna look at everybody and I'm gonna be like, so Magister, you're the, you're the law here, right? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. And just to be clear, this guy's unlawful right now. Uh, well, he's been raiding my city, so yes. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna very gently take out a dagger and shove it in his leg. Okay. Roll damage. Oh dear lord. Um see dagger's like a d4. My strength is well actually not hard. Uh so five damage. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay. Uh, so you stab a dagger in his leg. He winces. 
Make uh, sure that it's good. no place that's like seriously going to kill him or mm -hmm. anything. Like his heart? Yeah, I'm not going to do anything crazy. Okay. I'm going to ask very nicely Nim's question over again. So go ahead and roll your... Uh, uh, I would actually check to, to, to make him convinced that I'm far more ruthless than I appear to be. Uh, so that would be... Uh, sure, you can you can roll a deception. That's fine. All right. I'm a level two. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, so <laughs> uh, he he smiles at you and says, "I've had worse. Uh, you uh, your your uh, puny dagger can only do so much." All right. I okay. I th I throw a blast of eldritch energy, an eldritch blast, like right next to his head. Okay. Sure. So you blast right next to his head. Um, he's a little taken aback by that. Um, are you going to say I, anything as you do it? And I, I blast another one, like right between his legs, and say, "Tell us what we want to know." Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll and intimidate uh, with advantage. Ooh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> it was like eight. You know, two. No, uh, he will say, uh, he'll look at you and say, uh, uh, if you want to find out something, you really should uh, find someone that, that uh, cares about their life. I just blast him. Okay. You blast him, roll damage. Uh, where's it on here? You don't have to roll attack, just damage. No, it's all oh, it, it, yeah. So is that two? Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he is hit and uh, he grimaces a bit, but not, <laughs> you could tell it didn't do much. All right. Well, I mean, we all took a shot at him. Care to, this, care this to revise your answer? This guy's clearly too awesome to answer us. You know, I mean, it's fine. I guess we just need to like stake him to the ground and uh, cover his ten his genitals in honey, and uh, put put fire ants on his on his groin. Are you saying this out in? A hundred percent saying this out loud. Okay, roll uh, intimidate. With advantage. Hey, we rolled a number. Hey, look at that. All right, so he will uh, he will start uh, almost sobbing. Like I, and I give up he will guy. say, um, he will say, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. Now, now there's no reason to be barbaric. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm just like, I'm done. Let's just, let's just get it over with. Let's just have well, the antithesis testicles alive. I, obviously you don't have any answers. So why should we even keep you alive? Um, he will say, listen, 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 I, I am not a high-ranking member of uh, the cult, but uh, we are uh, – we have an, a decent amount of people. Um, and uh, I don't know that it's true, but I've heard uh, there's a – well, I know that it's true for the camp. We have a camp that's uh, a little further up the way, uh, but uh, I, I heard that there's uh, rumors that the, uh, the church or the cult has um, uh, dragon eggs. If you uh, let me go, I'm sure that I could tell you exactly where it is, and uh, those dragon eggs would uh, fetch quite a quite a penny. I don't want freaking dragon eggs. I want my woman back. Okay, I I don't know who your woman is. I've never heard that name. I swear it. Let's 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 revise just a little. Is there some place you're taking prisoners? No, 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 no. We are we are only uh, here to gather. Uh, uh, he will he'll he'll like kind of blank and think for a moment, and he'll say, um, um, "Offerings. We're we're trying to gather offerings." Be more specific. Uh, gold, silver, uh, paintings, uh, gems. Why? 
because uh, that's what the cult uh, tells us to do. The, the cult leaders, they want us to gather uh, offerings for something. I'm not sure what, though. Uh, and we get the details of where he's like came from and uh, like troop size and, and those kind of things. Uh, yes, he will tell you that they're uh, that not everyone that is involved in the sacking of Greenest is cult members. Uh, some are just hired uh, thugs. Uh, some are, are lame brain monsters that uh, just care about shinies and uh, uh, but mo most there, there's a, a very small pr uh, portion that are uh, that are cultists, and one of them is named Fulgrim, and she is uh, the leader. Look over at the magister. With like, uh, do you have any questions for this guy? He kind of grimaces and shakes uh, shakes his head. He'll say, uh, "Where, where is uh, Fulgrim located?" Uh, the guy will answer uh, out in the uh, field uh, north of town, or south of town, excuse me, south of town, uh, and she is uh, uh, very heavily guarded. By? Uh, soldiers. Come on, a little more specific here. Somebody wants to live, or at least not die in a terrible, terrific way of having your testicles eaten slowly uh, by ants. He'll say... Uh, there's always at least 20 soldiers around her, 20 mercenaries. So, humanoid soldiers? Uh, yes, humans. Wizards? Casters, human, magickers? Human mag fighters. Okay. Human fighters, but she is also very highly magical. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. I don't know, does anyone else want to bond over, like, kicking this guy? Oh. Well, I kind of think he's handsome. I sit on his lap. I, but I don't really like his facial hair. And I whip out my dagger. I think I, I think he could use a shave. What do you guys say? Oh man. I mean, first of all, you're sitting on ant food. Now you want to shave him? I think he might still be useful. I, I wave my hands and and cast uh, press a digitation, and uh, create a mark on his forehead. Of my my patron's heraldry. Okay. Um, as you guys are doing this, you will hear a uh, pounding at the door. Um, the uh, the governor he sighs. Um, you can hear there's some frustration in his sigh, and he opens the door and snaps at uh, at a private. Uh, what is it? And you can see the private is now like very very shaken and he's like sis, 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 sir sir uh, uh and you can tell he's he's terrified anyone speak up i'm ready to like stab this guy okay do, do you stab him i'm waiting for the other guys to be done with him first though it would be yeah. immature to stab him right now uh, i'm too stupid to ask any questions Okay. Um, it takes the guy uh, a good uh, couple of minutes that the, the governor will say, well, spit it out, son. What is it? And uh, the, um, the private will say, sir, they're, they're burning down the, the, the mill. And uh, the governor is uh, obviously frustrated and says, uh, are, are you guys done with the, this man? Because uh, if you are... Uh, this this mill really cannot get burned down. It is uh, uh, very uh, very important to our our livelihood here. I stab him and then I'm like, all right, I'm done. But <laughs> I prevent him from stabbing him. Uh, so go ahead and both of you roll initiatives. As, as they're squabbling, I just shoot him with another blast. So, uh, Samus, you can see uh, this new character. He raises his dagger. And uh, you say, wait, and you start to go towards him, but by the time you get to him, the, the dagger's already been plunged into his chest. Oh, man. I mean, I was going to see if there was, like, a stand-down password or order that we could we could get instead of having to fight all these guys. No, too late now. Yeah. 
Nah, unfortunately, the guy is already is already gone. Um, so the uh, governor will kind of like get taken aback and will say, "Oh well, uh, I, I guess that's done with." Uh, could you? Uh, would you mind please going to assist this uh, this uh, mill? I just groan. I start undressing Ugh. the prisoner real fast. Okay. Oh yeah, I like where this is going. I just, as all of I just all of the clothes my are head. thrown at Nim. There you go. Put them on. Oh, fuck. you just got a promotion, asshole. <laughs> well, <laughs> if it means bringing back Talos, okay. And I get in the clothes. I put my clothes in my bag. Okay. All right. Hey, guess what? You're also go go distraction now. I'm actually pretty good at that. I was raised for distractions. Excellent. Okay. Is so you guys guys name by chance? I look at everybody. No, nobody. Nobody got a name. All right. Well, this is clearly Bob. So you're Bob now too. Bob Saget. I always wanted to be a Bob Saget. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go rescue the fucking mill. All right, so you guys head outside of town. Um, you guys use your, your normal uh, escape route through the uh, sewer. And uh, you come out and uh, go ahead and roll um, your stealth checks. Well, I'm not doing a damn thing without a guidance now because I remember that I have it. Apparently it doesn't matter. Oh, today is going to be a day where the power of light is not on my side. No, actually, th these are all with advantage. I apologize. Oh, so you okay. actually did pretty good there. I'll roll it just again separately. That's nope, fine. it's a 12. I rolled a nat 20, so I'm not going to roll again. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, so you guys get to the... Um... Let's see. Uh, you guys get to the mill. Um, so there is. Um, hold on one second. Um, there are several humans and uh, a couple of. Uh, the lizards and they're going around the mill um and you see that there is smoke and uh, a bit of fire coming from the mill um everybody go ahead and roll a uh wisdom uh insight can we get a rough idea on the map where the mill is i mean i assume it's near the river somewhere can I it, change my dice? It's to our east, where all the little kobold-looking. No, those left. are that. That was the church. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, it's yeah. left over from the day you were gone over there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right over here. All right, and you want a a, a perception? Uh, insight. Okay. Insight. Hey, uh, Tolab, I can't move my marker anymore. Don't know if that's by design or. This happens every week. All right. Insight. Uh, also with guidance here. And wh where we're going to the northwest? To the south. West. To the south north. All right, there you go, uh, Atremis. All Sorry. right, while we're while we're on the way. I tell Nim that uh, when we get here, you need to be out of breath and needing help. The adventurers are um, are killing your killing your squad at the tavern. All right. And by the way, my name is Nimvin. I forgot to introduce myself. Oh, it's okay, Bob. We we love you long time. So let's see. Uh, inside seventeen nineteen six. Six well, plus thirteen. A D4. Plus a D four on that. Okay. Um. So, shoemaker. 
and Atremis and Nimvin, you guys can each roll a performance. Um, so you guys uh, see that there is some some burning going on here, um, and but it doesn't look uh, for for shoemaker and Atremis, It looks like okay, they're burning down this mill. Uh, Nimvin, you are very quick to notice that they these fires are uh, all kind of away from the building, and they could very easily be extinguished. Uh, you're getting the feeling that this could be a ruse. Hey guys, have do you see that the fires are not exactly on the building? It's, it's. I feel like this is a setup. All right. I would like to uh, to uh, know if uh, if we're getting played here. Uh, are you rolling inside against Nimvin? I am. Uh, he he seems to be telling the truth. All right. I I want to keep a, I want to like peer around and see if there's anybody hiding. Okay. I'm waiting to spring an ambush. Go ahead and roll perception. Oh, my dice are terrible tonight. Power of power of random, my friend. Power of light. How do you fix the light? I think if you reload the page, it sometimes resets your light variable. Okay. okay so what did you get? You got a real low. Okay. Yeah, real low. Yeah. Freaking okay. horrible. Yeah, you don't see anything. I want to take a look as well. Okay. Everybody can do a look here if you want. I did not do much better. No, oh, I mean, this is something I'm actually good at. Perception. I'm kind of wondering if that god that came in and told us about this fire is in on all this, because why would he report a fire without checking it in? Well, as you can see, there's like a s ton of uh danger all around us oh this is not how it's always like no oh, i know i'm new to town i'm sorry well us uh, too i mean to be fair it's been this way since we got here but uh Nimbin, no would you like to do a perception Nimbin, would you like to do perception oh, yeah. there goes. Roll one. Roll uh so everybody else is looking around and you're trying to find uh if there's there's anything odd about this, uh, Nimvin, you happen to look up into the loft of the uh, the mill, and you see someone's head pop up and then very quickly pop down. Hey guys, did you see that? No, I didn't see it. There was a head popping in and out of the right over there in that uh, little uh, looky hole. Kinky. Where? Right there, and I last where he's kind of like describing i was okay. pointing too so you should be able to aim it to my point uh roll a percentile percentile yes sir. camera's turned off right make sure that i'm not like face palming on camera right now <laughs> oh boy okay uh you blast uh up against the wall uh a couple of the people will see you uh, and point and say, uh, uh, there, there, there's uh, p uh, villagers. Uh, grab them. And they are starting to move towards you. Wait, okay. are these dragon cultist people? And these I just... are, look like just regular uh, soldiers. I uh, blast one of them. Okay. And I, and I, uh, you're not taking me. Wait, are we still going with our stealth rolls? Because I would love to hide behind a bush with that 20 stealth. Uh, no, this would be a, a new stealth roll if you're trying to hide. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get in trouble. I'm new. Okay, so go ahead and roll a uh, hide. Okay. All right, so Steiner, you uh, take a blast at one of them, and uh, what does everybody else do? Go ahead and roll attack at Steiner. Uh, 
Okay, you blast one pretty good. Uh, what is everybody else doing before uh, this is surprise uh, round? I'll ready my great sword. Okay. I'm... Steiner, Shu, Sam. I already have my quarter step out, but I'm actually going to be surprised. I'm like, what? What? What is wrong with you guys? What is going on here? Okay. Shu, what would you like to do? Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and roll initiatives then. All right, and how do we do that again? We click on our, make sure our Make sure your token is highlighted, and then you yep. roll the button on your character sheet. Oh, damn it, I forgot my token. Oh, yeah. yes! Oh, wait, no, that was your roll. Oh, but we have to get the initiative tracker up if we're going to get on it. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Can well, I keep, keep the better of the two rolls? Oh, it's on there. It's on there. Mine's not. You have to click your icon and then roll it, right? Yep. Yes. Have your, your icon highlighted and then roll. 16.17. What? There is some That's... weird... There's an option movement. where you can put your dex mono, uh, your dex score there, so if someone rolls the same as you, you know oh, that okay. you're better than them. <laughs> gotcha. I like how you, because you know you're better than them. Well, yeah, <laughs> in 5e, for those of you who don't know, who, who like the five people watching, the initiative tiebreaker is your dexterity modifier. That's funny, though. The more you know. Uh, the other half is like red and blue lasers, right? Alright, let's pull up this here. And if anybody's interested, I did change my character, my portrait in Roll20 to match my token, but it's not showing up in Sam's stream until he probably reloads his page. Yeah, same here. Let me try giving a quick uh, refresh of the the old Rule 20 page here. I wouldn't mind resetting my power of light a little bit. There it goes. All right. Let me pull up my character sheet while we patiently wait. So yeah, I check my spells, but uh, they haven't slept in like what. Oh, we haven't got. We haven't had our long rest yet either. Damn it! No, we have not. Quick question: Are we still level one? By the way, we are. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you guys. Making are. sure I didn't miss anything with that. Yeah, I apologize for the dog, guys. All right, so. Let's see. Oh. I do get Hexblade's Curse back. Sweet. Yeah, short. That's a short rest. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite class subclasses. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was just a long rest. I'm like, damn it! I got my spell slot back, but that's about it. Oh, I love these vampire dudes. All right, so uh, let's see. I gotta do. A, one of those guys and why wow, he's doing all the way up here huh why he's doing that is there a way we can click on other people's icons mm -hmm. or tokens and see the numbers and their uh, bars so we shouldn't be able to see their the numbers but we should be able to see their bars can you guys um, see mine? Currently, no. I think the... Okay. I, I still don't think we quite have the tokens set up exactly right. Which is part of the reason why we continue to have difficulties. Like, my token is set up correctly, I believe, but... Yeah, because I have my health in, my, in the red box and my AC in the blue box. Um, but I do... And I... Yeah, and I, I don't see have much my... myself. Yeah, and when I don't have my token highlighted, I do see my hit point bar.
but it's funny. It looks like it's in uh, shoes uh, token. It was over the top of yeah. Whoever. Yeah, they're just we're still some bits and bobs and pieces. Uh, we're still trying to get like a real handle on behind the scenes here. Okay. All right. So um, their actions are just to move up to you guys, um, and then go ahead, shoemaker. Okay. Well, no, not uh, these aren't townspeople. These are these are the the guard, the the mercenaries. Now, what's the difference between the guys with the clubby looking things or the staffs, and then the vampire looking guys? Um, they're they are just different. Let's see. Uh. There's nobody of importance here, I guess, right? Yes. Okay. Remember, these are 20 foot squares. That's a crit. It is. Um, is it? Oh, yes, yes. Yep. So you do. 22. Uh, 22 damage to him. Yeah, you you just crush his head head in. Oh, you guys just times the 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 original and so rolling two weapon die. Uh, it depends. Shu doesn't have his thing set up for on crit roll automatically, so we just took and doubled whatever it said for the first number. Right. Uh. Okay. So, uh, Nimvind, it is your turn. These are 20 I, uh, foot square, sir. Oh, wait, hang on. It does set up to roll a crit. He rolled maximum and minimum damage, so it's 13. Okay, well, he still crashed his head in, so. Nimvin, it's your turn. I don't even know if these guys are enemies. I'm, uh, I'm... No, you do, You definitely do. All right. Um. Well, since I hid. These are 20 foot squares? 20 foot squares, yes. So I have to, like, move a half? Like, a, a square and a half? Yeah, yeah, just put it in the, the square, uh, the, like, the next square up. So, like, 20, 40, but you're technically not in that 40 foot square yet. I move there. Um, yeah. I keep my stealth roll since I rolled one, yeah? Uh, yes. Alright, then I'm there. And uh, okay. I'm there for life. No, it's good. I'm there for now. End my turn. <laughs> All right, Steiner, what would you like to do? Uh, I'll just blast a guy in front of me. Okay. Which is... How do I ping a sc one? Uh, you just... Next... There we go. Hold down your mouse. Oh, there we go. Hold it down. That's right. There's two there, just so you know. Okay, well, doesn't matter whichever okay. one. Okay. Uh, yep, that'll hit, and uh, you you can tell that you bloody him and and one hit, but not kill him. Not kill him though. No. All right. Uh, and, it, and I will move back one, so twenty feet. Um. Let's see. Oops, I moved Michael on accident there. Let me say my. My spot in the initiative just disappeared. Oh, it like skipped me. Oh, okay. So go ahead and then sorry. Okay. Um I was right here, wasn't I? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna step close enough and smack the guy next. Okay, I will try and fail. Never mind. Okay. Uh you try to hit him and you just a uh, and he ducks under your blade. Okay. Um, they will. One of them is, or two of them is attacking you, Michael. And uh, 
two of them is attacking Sam. Okay. All right. Uh, Michael, the one's on you first. Okay. Uh, 17, is that going to hit you? Yes. Okay, you take seven. Okay. And then nine, which I'm assuming will not hit you, so... Yeah, no. Okay. And then uh, against Samus... Uh, 14. Uh, miss. I do need to do a thing real fast. Okay. And 13 will also miss. Okay, so you see they have their scimitars and they both miss you. Uh, uh, Mike, the ones uh, attacking you have spears. Okay. Okay, Samus, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to have uh, record my bent dice from earlier. All right, um... There's two on me, but there's also two on Mike. Yes. Are the ones that are? Is there any way that uh, the ones that are close enough to me and Mike, I can assist with like flank to take them down, or do I just need to fight mine? Um, you can. Uh, you could move to flank the one on Mike. Okay. Or one of the ones on Mike, but well, I'll draw an attack. You I will, do. yes. All right. Well, then I'll just stay here and crush. Um. Do my best to crush one of them in front of me. Okay. All right. And break my stick, I guess. Um, that's a one. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, uh, roll your percentile. Fifty-three. Um, you don't break your stick. You're you're a little off balance. Uh, the next attack you will be doing at uh, disadvantage. Okay. Uh, Shoemaker, it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, you try to hit him, and you're you're just for his head. Uh, it is now Nimvin's turn. I will. Okay. Nimvin? Will, um, you see this guy that I'm adjacent? Yes. That one I just pinged. Uh, since I'm attacking him while I'm sneaking, does that give me advantage? Uh, yes. I will whip out my mighty rapier. And attack. Uh, 21 does hit. And that is the one that is bloodied, I believe. If I can find my mouse. There we go. Uh, let's see, I believe that's the one that's bloodied. Yes, so you do, uh, you kill that guy. And uh, for my bonus action, uh, do I notice anyone uh, hurt yet? Uh, no, you don't. Then I'll end or, my time. Uh, well, uh, pra- hold on. Uh, roll perception because uh, Sam did get, or Mike got rocked. I'm at half health, yeah. Yeah, Mike got rocked. Dude, I, I did not notice he got rocked then. Nope, you did not notice that he got rocked. Okay. Um, It is now Atremis' turn. All right. I will Wait, go ahead. Did we and... skip me? Oh, did it? With my fourteen. Oh, go ahead, Steiner. Sorry, I didn't even see that. Yeah. That's okay. Um, is there one of the guys on Sam or one of the guys on? Uh, There's Mike? one guy on on my Astromis and one guy on uh, two guys on Sam. All right. I'll target one of the guys here on Sam as to even up that fight. Okay. Hopefully. Well, that's weird. On my screen, it shows a seven. A seven? What do you mean? Yeah, on my D10, it shows a seven, but then it shows a two for damage. It shows a seven on my screen as well. Uh... 
They he should. Usually does. He does. Um. Hmm. Um. Okay. So I, I saw the seven, so I'm gonna take the seven. My right as a DM. So. I wonder if there's something that's weird because you've had a lot of twos. Roll it again, real fast, Tyner. I no, thought it just showed up right. Up. Well, I'm seeing two different D tens now. One's a six, and one's an eight. Yeah, I'm yeah, because I have it set up to I have it set up to roll to roll both D tens in case it crits. So what happened probably is your two it was off screen because sometimes oh. they roll off of the screen. Oh, possibly. So that's probably what it was, but that's okay. Um, Atrami, it's your turn. All right, I will swing at the guy next to me. Okay. There we go. Um, so you actually just completely bring your sword across his stomach and you cut him pretty much in half. Awesome. I'm going to use a uh, bonus action after that to use my second wind, get some health back. Yep. Now this other guy is supposed to be in that square, just so you know. This other guard right here. Okay. Uh, I lost my t uh, the initiative on that one, so we're going to go this guard and, and this other guy uh, attacking. So uh, the one on you, Michael. Okay. So I think you may have deleted the token that you had. I, I did. Initiative again. I did. I just remember they go right before you. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say we need to start sticking one out of the way. Uh, see, that one your four, four will not hit you, Mike. So uh, let's see. And then the one on Sam. Uh, five will not hit Sam either. Okay. We uh, are the power of bad light. I'm telling you. Um, Sam, it's your turn, buddy. All right. Wise enough to know that I have thrown myself off balance. Instead, in the process of recovering, I'm going to cast a acid splash targeting... Because there's two guys next to me, right? Yes. I'll acid splash the two guys next to me. Okay, so they need to make dex saves, right? Yeah, a, a dex 14. Uh, he fails his. And, and that was the guy that was on you. And the guy that is on Michael. Passes his. Okay. okay. So they take three, and I will recover my balance. Okay. Uh, it is Shoemaker's turn. Okay. 23 will hit and eight damage. Uh, that guy, he, you, uh, yeah, you clonk him on the back of the head and he goes down. Okay. Uh, Sam, uh, Nimvin, it's your turn. Am I in striking range of this guy? The, the whole square measuring kind of confuses me. Uh, you can be uh, very easily, yes. Um, can I, um, I want to, use my rapier as my main attack and uh do the whole offhand attack with a dagger is that okay uh yeah you just take your normal negatives that you would well uh, you just don't add uh your your modifier to damage on the second offhand attack if you use your bonus attack oh okay they yeah. changed that from fifth edition then okay yeah okay sure So the 23 will hit, and the uh, 10 will not. And you do 9 points to him? Yes. Okay. You get a good gash in him, but he's still standing. Uh, Atrami, it's your turn. 
Or I think you skipped somebody Steiner. again. Well, well, my my tracker keeps going weird. So Steiner, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And this guy here between everybody. Yep. Is there just one guy left in there or two? There's one guy left. Okay. Uh, 11 will not hit. All right. Now it is Atremis' turn. All right. Let's try and hit him again. Or this one, anyway. Crit. Okay. Um, so you do 9 plus 5. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you uh, lop him down on the, the shins and bring him down, and then you just completely slice his head off. Cool. Works for me. Okay. Uh, you guys know that there are some still in the building. Are you guys going to continue over that way? Yep. yep. And as we're running over there, I say, I, I just yell out, trying to uh, scare them. Surrender now and you'll be spared, unlike the people you've murdered. Okay. Um... They will say, uh, uh, do not come in here. Uh, if you do, we will be uh, forced to, uh, to protect ourselves. Uh-oh. Something's weird going on. Like, I'm trying to move my token, and it keeps moving the map. Uh, let me see. Where are you at? He's way up north now. He's moving slowly. <laughs> Let me make sure you're on the right. Yeah, he just made a big move. Yeah, I was right here. All right, let me make sure your token is on the right. Yeah, I, I appear to be yeah. fine now. I will I tell you just... that yesterday they tweeted out that they had a huge spike in unexpected traffic and were having some issues. They may still be like at, uh, okay. carrying over. <laughs> Um, they will say, uh, uh, that's far enough now. Uh, do not come any further. We will, we will have to protect ourselves. There is no protection. Okay. But what they say. Are they actually in the building or are they around they the building? They are in, in the building. All right, I'm going to come up to my boys here. I'm going to say, all right, guys. Let, let's see if this new snake tongue devil can do his... Can uh, talk him out. Then I'm going to you, Bob. They just saw the slaughter of their men. I was there with them. They're not going to believe I'm one of them. No, I don't want you to talk them into believing that you're there. I want you to talk them out of surrendering now, and we'll spare their lives. All right, I'll turn to the guys upstairs. I'm like... At this Can point, it, I think it'd be in your best interest if you just turn yourselves in. It's uh, You seem to underestimate your advantage, or overestimate your advantage. If we could just sit uh, sit down and talk like this, like uh, grown-ups, that would be great, if you just come down here. Can, okay. I, can I see one of the guys? Uh, no, you cannot. Uh, roll a, a persuasion, Nim. Yeah, nineteen. Oh, okay. Um, one of them will uh, will say, uh, uh, "You won't kill us." Well, why would we? If you just turned yourself in, you'll be alive, and you'd already have been paid for the job you've done. So it's a win-win situation if you just come down. Well, we'll be uh, stuck in prison, of course. For only a limited time. Death is forever. You'll, That's uh, true. I've heard that people die forever. You'll start hearing whispering. They, you can't make it out, but you know that they're whispering to each other. Uh, one will say, uh, "Very well. Uh, we will come down one at a time." Um, and you'll see the the window. There will be a a scimitar that'll come like kind of flying out the window, um, and it lands uh, pretty much at your guys's feet. And then you see a second one fly out the window, and it lands at your feet. 
And then uh, one of them comes out the front door with its hands raised. As that starts, as it looks like they're going to do something, I look straight at Steiner's character, and I, I make a motion of caution because I know this idiot is going to try to shoot the first guy he sees. Okay. Now, guys, calm down. We're going to get these guys behind balls, and then... Oh, shit. And then, uh, then yeah. we ask them where Talus is, or whatever you guys want. I'm here for one, one, one thing and one thing. I know, that magical, magical pussy. Hey, calm down. A rose has many petals. Though, that is a sweet nectar. So... I, I put my axe away and I draw my whip. Okay. Uh, so one of them comes down and, and hands raised, uh, walks about 10 feet out of the building and uh, gets down on his knees. Okay. A uh, few moments later, the second guy will walk out and do the same. You have made oh, a wise decision. <clears throat> I walk over to the first guy and, you know, knock him completely onto the ground and then start searching him. Uh, they've got a few pieces of silver, um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Take the silver. Okay. Just making sure they don't have any weapons hidden on them. You get, uh, four pieces of silver between the two of them. Uh, in various, like, copper and silver pieces, but it, it equals up to four silver. Okay. Um, they both of them out. I'm sorry. I was answering that. I was answering the chat. Did he knock both of them out? Uh, no. He just knocked them down to the ground and then searched them. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So uh, before we get too much carried away here, I want to look at these guys and and see if they were the last two in the building. Uh, they will say yes. They were the only two in the building. I'm going to arch an eyebrow out questioning to um, to Nim for an insight. I'm going to roll an insight as well. Do, do you want me to insight separately, or do you want me to insist you on a sep uh, insight so you get advantage? Well, my score is you off the roll separately. And I will ask the Sorry. Uh, All right, is this any better? There yes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we just, I don't know. I had like a massive lag spike spike there for a second, so I just reconnected the the server. Okay. So uh, we both agreed that we believe these guys. Uh, yes. So you guys both believe these guys. Okay. All right, let's give these guys. We're just gonna tie, secure you guys, and we're gonna check the building real fast. Okay. Um, you secure them and check the building. There, there is no one else in the building. Okay. I I look at Steiner and said, "How many? What did you What did you pilfer from them?" Four silver. Okay. I make a mental note of that to make sure that they get their four silver back at the end of their prison sentence. Okay. Um, so you guys head back to the castle then? Uh, we'll put these fires out real fast, these ones nearby. Yeah, you're very easily able to put them out, yes. Right. Now, do you, do you think the guard was in on this? Because he, he reported this fire. Hold on one minute, guys, okay? You guys can talk amongst yourself for a second. I mean, I, I don't know. It, it looked like it was a thing until we got closer. But that would Im that would imply that he didn't even investigate it on himself, and this is his jurisdiction. It is, but remember, they're currently in the middle of a siege. 
I don't know. Something smells fishy. <laughs> that could have been it. It could have been. I don't know. I uh, I I don't want to. Like you can obviously ask him when we get when we get to the keep. But uh, let let's not be getting too crazy because I really just want to. I really want this fire to be, or this the siege to be over and us just get the hell out of this town on fire. All right, so <laughs> you you guys get the fire put out, um, and then uh, you guys make your way back to the castle. Yeah, yep. on the way we're yep. gonna ask these guys about uh, about how they came to to uh, to this plan. Uh, we were told by one of the uppers to do this. Okay. They they said that uh, that there was some meddlers, uh, and we were to take them out, uh, uh, lure them into, lure you guys into the 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 mill, and then uh, and then uh, lure you into a trap to be outnumbered. Okay. Well, then uh, you guys suck. That's a good plan. It worked. It got us here. Well, like, how how uh, acquainted are you into this organization? Do you know who's all working for them? Uh, we we are not uh, the the two men that you killed there. They they were more into this organization. We're just hired help. Okay, then I won't uh, waste any breath on you. Let's just go on. Okay, so you guys get back to the castle, and uh, you guys are there for uh, about an hour. And then, uh, and it's it's really really early in the morning. This is like three four o'clock in the morning, and uh, you hear uh, or you you see the captain. He uh, comes to you and he says, uh, uh, "There's something of great importance. Uh, come up to the the bastion with me." So you guys get a sh- you guys do get a short rest, but uh, you guys get up to the bastion and uh, you see. Uh, from the darkness, a creature strides into the dim light of the dying fires ar- uh, around the keep. Although it is shaped roughly like a human, it is at least seven feet tall. Its skin is covered in blue scales. Its fingers bear wicked claws, and its face has the muzzle and reptilian eyes of a dragon. The creature stops about 80 yards from the main gate of the keep and scans the walls. A line of kobolds fans out behind it with the with their spears. They prod four human prisoners into the dim light. They can, you, you can make out a woman, a teenage boy in blood-soaked tunic, and two children. Then the, then the creature uh, hails the keep. Defenders of Greenest, you have, the, uh, you have been a successful knight, and I, uh, I am feeling generous. Do you see these four pitiful, useless prisoners? We have no need for them, so I will trade them back to you. Send out your best warrior and fight me, and you may have these four in exchange. He, he called us out for a fight? One person for a fight. I heard of things like this before. We shouldn't do it. Um, about that time, you will see uh, one man. He is... Uh, uh, tearful, and he uh, uh, pushes forward, and uh, he is now grabbing his sword, and he is uh, is starting to walk towards the gate, and uh, the governor sa- uh, is trying to stop him, and the man is saying, uh, "No, that is my that is my sister." Does this guy look like a chump? Oh yeah. Uh, Mike volunteers. Yep. Okay. Before you go out, Mike, here, I will give you um, a token, and I, I'll do a bardic inspiration on him. And I'm going to cast Grease on the guy walking out. It's a cantrip, I think. Maybe it's not, actually. Uh, the guy, it, once once uh, Atremis volunteers, the, uh, the guy will stop and will say, uh, please make sure that uh, my sister comes back. Uh, well, uh, uh, comes back well. Um, 
so you get uh, out the gate, and the kobolds will shove uh, three the three uh, children uh, towards you, and um, he will say, uh, "This is a show of good faith." Uh, he will shove them towards the the, the gate. They run into it, and uh, he says, uh, "We will keep the woman here. Uh, this is a, a to be a one on one combat. If anybody interferes, uh, she will she will surely meet her end." Agreed. That sounds serious. Man, I look at all these guys, and and deep down in my heart, I just wanna, I just wanna get them. But uh, I remember my damn alignment. So I just stand there, an idiot. Okay. Reluctantly lawful. Yeah, I wouldn't watch the fight from a distance, but yeah, I gave him a bardic inspiration, so that one d eight should come in handy, or one d six. Let's see, I gotta... I so what does Bardic Inspiration do? Nope. Uh, he's a first level yeah, boss. It. So it's like a 1d4 or 1d6 or something. How do I... How do I clear this? Uh, oh, clear drawing. There we go. There, I post what Bardic Inspiration does. You just basically get a 1d6 to certain rolls. Uh, Next okay. 10 minutes. Ability checks, attacks, or saving throws. I'm like, sha la 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 la, don't be shy to save the girl. You, you need to get one. Yeah. Okay. And right, you can decide to use it after you roll, but, but before he tells you whether it succeeds or fails. Let's see here. Let me pull up my thing. Where is it at? And I'm going to tell Shu that as soon as I think he's far enough away he can't hear me, I'm going to tell Shu to be ready to cast Spare the Dying on Mike if this goes sideways. <laughs> oh, this is going sideways. <laughs> oh, I'm prepping some healing just in case. And, I'm, and like I said, I got as many of the group that trust me as close to the door as I can get them. I'll stand, I'll stand right at the gate. Me too. With my mandolin playing some battle music. <laughs> well, Irish war jig. Yes, yeah, some sheep in boots. <laughs> Something from West Side Story. We'll just all snap. Okay, let's see. Where are you at here, buddy? I'm here. I am here. Mike. You're like the second freshest of all of us. Yep. You can do it. I believe in you. Fight dirty. Rise it up. Open the clean, streets. So we don't have to fight clean. All right. It's one on one, but don't fight. Don't don't fight. Don't be afraid to fight dirty. All right, so these are uh, actual squares. Whoa, actual squares. Yeah, we should probably get in the habit of like, going into battle screen mode. All right, so we'll go ahead and roll initiative, Mike. God damn it, I didn't have my thing set. I keep forgetting to do that. Is there a way to just use the initiative I already rolled? Uh, no, it's um, it's a Discord. I should have already added you in. I didn't have my uh, icon selected when I rolled it. I keep forgetting that. Oh, well, I'll just add it, because uh, I also did not have mine. So what did you roll? I had a 10. Okay. It rolled a natural 20. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll just do it and then you. All right, so it is going to uh, move forward. Yeah, moving forward. There, I turned on push to talk so that they can't hear me. Uh, you can roll Knowledge Nature or Knowledge Arcana if you want to.
I got a 17. Uh, you... Apparently not. Yes! <laughs> Steiner's like, it's a thing! Look! I'm like, look, it's so Santa Claus. only Atremis knows what this creature is. Perfect. <laughs> it's Santa. It's a kobold! Alright, so Mike, it is going to attack you. Um... Oh my, it's a kobold! It's the real Bob Saget. <laughs> uh, so, uh, attacks for 10, and then attacks for 11, and neither one to hit. Now it is your go. Alrighty. I will swing at it. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, 19 will hit you, uh, okay. and you'll take uh, 9. All right, this may be a short fight. Okay, it is your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to use my second win as a free act, or the bonus action. Okay. Don't forget, you have Bardic Inspiration. I don't think that, well. So is that all you can do, Mike? No, I mean, I'll attack still. Oh, okay. good. I got a nine. Okay. All right. And then I will swing at it again. Okay. Oh, um, 11 ahead. will not hit. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I'll go ahead and try the bar to get three. Okay. Inspiration. So you roll a d6 and add it? Yeah, that's that's nothing. Okay. All right. And it does not work. Okay. Nope. It is going to attack you. I knew I should have used DDM. 22. Will that hit you? Yeah. And then 18. That'll hit you as well. Um, he is going to... Uh, so what health are you at? Uh, with my second wind, I'm back to 14. That's all right. You're a little boy. No way I care. Okay, so he will hit you twice, but you can tell that the second hit is only with uh, the hilt of his greatsword, and he knocks you unconscious. Okay. Um, he will say, uh, uh, pitiful, and then he will push the woman uh, back at you, uh, at the, the gate, and he will say, uh, um, it is uh it is time for us to make our leave. Uh do not follow us uh unless you want your, your city to be completely destroyed. And he uh starts walking backwards and uh he leaves. I run out and up to uh like there. Okay. And then I I just lay on hands on him. Okay. You get one hit point. Alrighty, I'll take what I can get. Okay. Um, so you guys are uh, brought back into the castle. Uh, the woman is safe, all of her children are safe, and uh, it. Uh, the governor thanks you. Um, you can see that all of the people, all of the the uh, people that are sacking the city, are now leaving. Um, and uh, you guys are. Uh, talk uh, talking to the governor and he says uh, he thanks you for for helping um, he will e give you each um, a pouch with uh, 15 gold in it um, he says uh, this is what I can spare um, he says this is pretty much the last of it but this is what I can spare um, and he will say um, uh, if you wish to help more uh, at light uh, perhaps you can uh, Go try to find the um, the bandits. Find where their camp is. Well, that one fellow that I came in when you guys were talking to him, he told told us it was what the word north. Yeah, he, he mean he, he's inferring that we should go kill the bandits. 
Yeah, but we, I'm saying we know where their camp is, right? We, we do. We do, yeah. Um, if you could get uh, numbers that, that we could perhaps send a militia, that would be very helpful. Like GPS coordinates or? Well, like, where, they're, where they're at and what numbers they, uh, like their, their troop numbers. Reconnaissance. I like this. We're kind of what? We have like, a pretty rough idea. Espionage, you know? Espionage, what? Can I get an interpreter? Interp. I Cooper? pat these two idiots on the sh on the back, and I say I'm going to bed. Okay. I'm over. I'm over. So today. you guys do get your rest. Um, you guys can have a long rest if you wish. Um, and uh, that is uh, the end of this section. So you guys can all level up to level two. Woohoo! And I think that's where we'll go ahead and cut it here. I think it's a good t place to stop it. So. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank everyone that's playing. That uh, Thank you for coming in and playing. I love it. This is awesome. So, um, yeah, we're going to level up to two, and then not uh, not this next Thursday, but the Thursday after that, we're going to uh, play again. Um, and we're going to start uh, with you guys leaving Greenest. That will be the 23rd, for those of you who don't have a calendar handy. And then we will... Um... We'll definitely have plenty of reminders up on our various Twitch streams. Right. And uh, I will be doing a rerun of the, the show as well, if anybody would like to watch it from the DM perspective. Not tonight, but uh, soon. And um, I would like to say that uh, for anyone that has enjoyed the show, that uh, uh, right now I am streaming it. Uh, so is Sam and so is uh, Shoemaker over at Technical 13. Um, all of us are able to be supported on Twitch. Um, if you have a Twitch Prime subscription, you can support us for free. Um, and it really does go a long way to help us uh, help us continue bringing you this kind of content. Um, this this uh, pa uh, module that I got was not free. Uh, so any kind of uh, help is appreciated and we can continue to bring this kind of stuff to you. Um, obviously, it's not, uh, not uh, required. Um, if you can't support, then we don't want to force you to support. But... Uh, Anyways, uh, Sam also has a Patreon. Uh, that's uh, samus.com slash, uh, or sorry, patreon.com slash samus. Uh, you can support him for $1 or as high as $3, and that really does go a long way since uh, Patreon takes less of a uh, cut than Twitch does. So um, anyways, uh, other than that, is there any uh, last words from uh, anybody else? No, I'm just wondering Bob. if everybody will be back in about an hour or so with uh, Samus After Dark, and uh, Tlab's got to go murder children. Yeah, I need to go get go spank my I, boy. I think. I also have a YouTube channel. I, I didn't hear you put that in. Oh, I I do apologize. Yes, uh, Nimvin does have a YouTube channel. Uh, he puts out uh, a lot of the uh, DDO stuff and uh, uh, Nimis uh, Nimvin in the shower. I think is what your series is called, right? Yeah, shower time Q and A, and also have other things like literature and all that. Yeah, yeah, he, he put some good content out, so go ahead and go check him out. Uh, you can search up Nimvin on uh, YouTube, and you'll find him. Yeah, we'll get a we'll get a copy of all the links posted someplace uh, pretty soon here. Yeah, probably so, throw, throw right up over on uh, on my website or something with everyone's link. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping everybody's enjoying it. Uh, this is uh, again, we're we're gonna be moving into the second chapter. Uh, this is the second chapter of this book. Uh, we're this is a two book series, so it's just gonna go for quite a while. But uh, if everyone's enjoying it, we can definitely continue to do so, do this. So, but hey everybody, uh, with that, doodles. All right, thank you for joining us, and have a good night, everyone. Bye now. Good business. I'm down. I'm down. Hey guys, quick question. Yeah. Um, for my second level, I get an action sh surge. It says I can take an additional action. What? Yes. Is that like, so like meaning I can take the take an extra attack or extra move or whatever? Yeah, you can. Okay, you can cool. Take an extra attack or two when you hit fifth level. Okay. Uh, dash for an extra movement. Disengage. Or dodge. All right, well, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go murder yep, some children. Go, go, go sure. Hey, rock. 
real quick, are we rolling um, dice? No, second level uh, max hit points for second level. After that, you will be rolling for hit points. Okay. Plus. It's a little more, a little more lenient because I don't like people dying. You know, first couple of sessions. Okay. Yeah. This wasn't um, always. If you guys are leveling up, I'll stay in chat. I'm really like, I'm not gonna brag or anything, but I know fifth edition pretty well. Yeah, seems good. Okay. I'll switch over to Discord chat here. Nope. All right, okay. gentlemen. How we going? There's no reason you can right. just stay in the PMP one for now. It's fine. Yeah, I'll be. Um, I'll be in your chat later. I'm not gonna stream tonight, but I'm gonna okay. restart on Monday. Sounds good, bud. We'll see you later. Later. Uh, Nim. Also, if you guys are, if you guys want, you're welcome to use, uh, like the general channel or whatever for. You guys is talkie talkie, squawky squawky with like voodoo and stuff. Um, or we could even make another live stream thing. Voodoo actually has his own Discord. I no, I it's my Discord because he doesn't want to make one, so I made one for him, but okay. he doesn't go on it at all. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that was the problem. Like sometimes the in-game stuff is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, he, he's so, like scared of Discord. I've I've been trying to drag him in there, but yeah, I, you want me to post a link to my Discord? Yeah, please. If if you're looking for peoples, I'll be happy to click in there. I, I I'm not like the most active on everybody else's shit, but I do read the stuff when it pops up. So what do I need to do to level up? Okay, so you as a level in my book. I have the book. I just don't know what to look for. Oh, go to the chapter that has your class. Yeah, I assume you're going to do a cleric, right? Yep. So it's really simple. You just, uh, when you look at your cleric list, just like you would in uh, DDO, just go across one thing at a time and update across. Uh, like your main thing is you're going to get a domain feature and channel divinity, and you'll want to add those two things to your character sheet. Okay. Uh, you'll add an extra first level spell to your character sheet and then your hit points. My hit points will be one D. Put your constitution modifier. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be sixteen plus my constitution modifier because we're level two. Yes, but you'll gain a D eight plus your constitution modifier. Okay, so. Which would be sixteen, nineteen. Your constitution modifier is what? Three. And your hit points are currently. So from 11 to 19. It should be 11 to 22 because you get an 11. So it's 22? Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, that changes there. And oh. then, uh, your domain power, you're a, heal, you're a life domain, right? War domain? War domain. Oh man, I always loved Forge domain over War domain. Hey, do you think we're going to need a magic weapon anytime soon? Yes, all the time. Because that's really the only benefit I get right now from improved uh, pack of the blade. It makes my weapon magic. Well, and it gives you a plus one to hit and damage. Also, uh, a lot of creatures are like, you need silver or and or magic, or you need cold iron. Like, magic breaks all DR in pen and paper. Right. Because, I mean, I get, a, I get another invocation at 5th level. So, this is what I do with my Hex Blades. I take Agonizing Blast and Double Sight, because you only have two. And that would uh, be the best, because if you're doing Pact of the Blade, you're already going to have uh, a, a bunch of weapons. But Improved Pact not only gives you a magic weapon, but allows you to summon... Uh, range weapons and be proficient with them and use your charisma to hit and damage. So if you want a longbow, you can have a longbow, but regular pack to the blade doesn't allow you to do anything outside of melee. Right. I mean, that's but that's why I have agonizing blast and eldritch blast. It's 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 a short range longbow. Or, yeah. So uh, yeah, I would go agonizing blast and double sight is no joke handy, especially fighting against casting folk because a lot of people like to throw out darkness 
darkness is no problem with you. 120 uh, feet of dark vision that goes through even magical darkness will put you on an edge even that other uh, races don't have. Yeah, I mean, that is tempting. I was looking at Fiendish Vigor for free 1d4 plus 4 hit points at will. With False Life. I don't know. I never really had an issue. I, I played, a, like, only two Hexblade Warlocks since 5th edition, and I usually just stick with Double Sight and Agonizing Blast or Improved Packed Weapon. Yeah, I think I think the other... Well, Eldritch Spirit could be nice, but I don't think 300 feet is really necessary, let alone 600 feet. If you can spot something 300 feet away, then um, we can probably make a better trap than you shooting an Eldritch Blast from... Well, maybe actually your your character might do that by the way it sounds like you're role-playing him. Well, because he's just... he's. He's got a six intelligence, so he's dumb as shit. He might actually do spear blast. But if, if you wanna if you want uh, um efficient invocations, agonizing blast and double sight will will pretty much put you on an edge that no one else on the field would have. And it would help the rest of the party, especially if we get covered in magical darkness, which is a very common trick. Yeah, because I mean, I already, I do already have dark vision. But that only affects regular yeah. darkness. Yeah. <sighs> and in normal, in normal dark vision is only sixty feet too, unless you're an under dark creature. Yeah, it just seems like we're. All right, so I need to set up turn undead and. A second effect determined by War Domain. So let's start with Turn Undead. Okay. I dragged us out of PNP so that we could talk with out. Oh, okay. Uh, so let me see. How's the Turn Undead work in this edition? How do, how do I put that in my character sheet, I guess is what I'm asking. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta read it. Just read how it works really fast, and then I can uh, look at it here. Am I gonna add it as like another attack? I would assume so, but again, I, I, I haven't played a cleric in fifth edition, so I have to read how it kind of works here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be a attack necessarily. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll just make an attack actually. Let's make an attack. Um, okay. And then I would unclick the attack button. Yep. And untick the damage button, and then just put the uh, saving throw versus wisdom. Okay. And then um, failure what? would be turned for one minute. Or until, until it takes damage. So that would be like the spell effect. So what would the DC be? Uh, well, your DC would be... Wisdom versus wisdom or wisdom versus spell? Or flat? Well, so it's going to be... Um... Probably, let me see what it says here. What page is this on? It's on page 59. Alright, so it's just the channel divinity section? Yeah, channel divinity turn undead. All right, require saving throws. When you use such an effect from this class, the DC equals your cleric spell level save DC. So you can just put in spell. Okay. That was on page 58. I had to read. Continue. I had to read the other side. Save effect. There's none. They're non-affected. So you can NA or whatever.
Alright, what else did you got it? Yeah, I'm working on typing it. it. I'm working on typing it out. Okay. I want to go back to reading this other thing then. Alright, I'm gonna jump back down to their channel for a minute. Okay. If you need me, just pull me back. Okay, so that was wordy. Okay, so now I need War Domain War Priest Okay, so I need to add one for Guided Strike. Starting at second level, you can use your channel divinity to strike with supernatural accuracy. When you make an attack roll, you can use your channel divinity to gain plus 10 to the roll. Make this choice after you see the roll, but before the DM says whether the attack hits or misses. Oh. Oh, I'm a war caster. So, war domain.
let's um let's edit this Okay, how are you doing? Just typing stuff in. Okay. A lot of stuff to add here that I was missing before that I didn't know about. Okay. That's fine. For example, as as a war priest for at first level, I didn't realize that um from first level your god delivers bolts of inspiration while engaged in battle. When you use the attack action you can make one bonus weapon attack as a bonus action. So I could have been striking twice. Mm, that's not all the time, right? You can use this feature a number of times equal to your wisdom modifiers yeah. once per long rest. Yeah, I know there was a limit on there. So I could I could have I could have done it three times, up to three times. There were some battles where an extra attack would have been really handy at key moments. Yeah. And then don't forget your guided strike thing. My what? Underneath. Keep oh, I'm I, I'm working I'm working on that one right now. That's second level. All right. So I I offered this to these guys, and they both said that they were probably fine. But this level, I get to. Um. I get infusions, which basically are like permanent spells, until I make a different one, right? Yeah. So I can make your weapon plus one until either I die or forever until you get a different one. Or I can make some temporary magic items and I'm just looking up things right now to remember like refreshing myself on some of these. That would be good. I don't want to be. I want to just spend everybody or all of my powers on making you guys more awesome. But I'm willing to balance some of those things in here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me back again a second. Yep.
I don't need to worry about those right yet. Okay, what else do I need from War Domain? Nothing. Okay.
All right, so that doesn't work. Uh, sorting just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. Don't get it. Okay, what do we got going on here now? Oh, you lost that. Mm, where is it? Character sheet. Screen. Source is going to be Shoemaker. Good. Fixed it. Five times. And then the last one was shit. And that was your int? <laughs> yeah. Well, it just made sense to put it in my int. My lowest stat... I have three stats that are 13, and those are my lowest stats. 15, 16, 16, 6, 13, 18. And the 13. 18 was was a uh, 16. 13, 17, 16, 13, 14, 20. And I'm the only fucker in this group with a, a single-digit stat. Yeah, but I have a 10. I, I have, a, have a 10. I have a 10 for intelligence. So I think Shu also has a 10. That means I you can read. People. And you called me an idiot. I have a 13 int. Alright, so I'm going to do Enchanted Weapon. I think, I don't know who's going to get stuff yet, but see i do like bag of holding and then the last alchemy, one i'm going to choose on Good. alchemy jug it's eight ounces of poison excuse me eight ounces of acid half an ounce of poison four gallons of beer a gallon of honey two gallons of mayonnaise oh you know what the you know what honey is actually really good because then we can Th eat then our you can actually mayonnaise. torture the guys yeah then i can then i have some some stuff had you had the, the honey yeah, but then it's also one quart of oil, two gallons of vinegar, eight gallons of fresh, 12 gallons of salt water, and a gallon of wine. Once per day, any one of those. Yeah, you could do a bag of holding, uh, alchemy jug, and then something else. All right, you guys talk Dude, to me, Alchemy Jug. At twelfth level, you need to make me a headband of intellect. I feel like that's a waste of time. <laughs> Dude, spend my... your level ups on your int. That you one item alone would intelligence. more than triple my intelligence. All we have to do is get you to like follow some basic things, like arithmetics. Well, I was thinking even less strenuous than that. Division. It, it would more than triple my intelligence. That's freaking sick. Oh, I would tell you right now, Nimvin the Bard would do anything for a bag of. As we as we advance, it is possible that we won't need all these things. So, do I add another um, first level spell to my list, or do I just get an extra usage, an extra slot? You, you it, if it says you uh you got an extra slot then you got an extra slot if it uh, also if you look at the spell is known if it is a number bigger than the last then yes so yeah you should have another spell and another spell yeah you basically again you know all your spells all the spells possible <clears throat> I'm like pray every day to like set your spells for that day Remember okay kind of talking about it all right, and I get one more slot and uh, a third spell. I'm guessing shield is probably the best bet. Unless yeah, you want me to charm fuckers. Mm, I I got charm person. Um, the disguise self is. I mean, that's what I picked. Um, the shield is the best bet because okay, so you get an action, a movement. A bonus action, but and a reaction action, and if you and you can't use a reaction action if you don't have the reaction action, and that that a uh, shield reaction action is amazing. Yeah, it is very. It is a very good spell, and it doesn't burn make, anything. Just gotta make sure it's not freaking concentration or some bullshit like that. 
It can't be if it only lasts until your next turn. All right, kids. I'm going to run until PEO time here. I'm going to try to empty the tank and refill the tank, etc. I'll, uh... Oh, it's a plus five bonus to AC. I'm super excited that I got invited to this pen and paper game. Good, I'm glad, man. Like I said, we, we had some other people, and we tried to talk Voodoo, and two of these like, ah! Yeah, he's a... He... Even though he makes fun of angry uh, old men, he is an angry old man in a lot of ways. Sounds like it. But no, he we're doesn't... glad to have you. And uh, I think you'll fit in just fine. Then all of we'll all do our best to help each other. I I, I say it like a thousand times, and these fuckers can confirm. Like a rising tide lifts all ships. Oh yeah. Freaking, I love it. My character is like, oh, I don't know these guys. And then you shoot someone and I hide behind a boat. Well, I don't know. Um, apparently he was, uh, he, um, Talab was like, oh, I told him to say well met to you first thing. Like, you, you definitely don't want to have him join the party then, do you? Oh, man. I I think he said that to me, but I must have... Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up the stream, I think. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, we'll be back again in a couple weeks to do this again. Um, I'll try to get my own independent list of links up for all of the participants and all of their various things. Um, so you can check it out. I will post it in a YouTube video when I upload this. Um, I'm going to archive this to YouTube. And thank you for watching. Have a great week, everybody. Um, I'll probably be back on in half an hour, hour or so with Samus to run level four in DDO through whatever content there is for level four. Um, have a great day. Uh, see you in a little bit. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit all the buttons. And if you can hit the... Um, the Streamlabs and check out my wish list. Maybe you can help me improve my machine so that I have less lag and um, can offer a higher quality stream for you. Uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, thank you. See you soon.